still working on browning the steel and I wanted to show you the progress I've already uh, given a couple different videos on on the process but I wanted to show you some of the uh, uh, things that I've learned some of the progress that I've made uh, this is a slow process um, the first application is 6 to 12 hours between them and then every coat after that is a little less time um, so you know with work and other schedules generally it's once a day I get to put on an application I haven't noticed any problems with that so we're still working on uh, app applying uh, this browning solution we're working on our third coat um, one of the things I learned uh, was how to remove the layer of rust from the previous coat the directions say steel wool really uh, fine steel wool um, what I've learned is uh, the steel wool is fine for the first couple coats but I'm using this uh, cotton old sweatshirt that I cut up years ago for gun cleaning patches seems to remove the rust without removing the browning. Here is some of the cloth that I was talking about. It's just old cotton sweatshirt or sweatpants, one or the other I cut up 20 years ago to be used for uh, gun cleaning patches. Um, the steel wool that I was using I think it was removing some of the browning of the steel instead of uh, leaving it. So what I did is I just took one of these and folded it up really tight and, you know, just buff it. And that removes the layer of rust but leaves the browning. We're going to try that on this piece here. As you can see, this piece here is is uh, fresh. I uh, applied a layer yesterday. So, just takes that layer of rust right off. This is working out really nice. I might actually have a, a couple of knife blades that I'm I might try this on. Look at that. It's really got a nice brown sheen to it now which is what I was looking for and that's only three coats two or three coats I'm not for sure By doing this, I've recycled some cloth, and this was just an old, like I said, sweatshirt or something that I was going to pitch. And with cleaning guns, it's a perfect patch for cleaning a cleaning a firearm. See, look at that. I mean, this is—you can see the difference. Try to keep the shadows out of it, but try a different camera angle. Um, see if that works better for lighting for you. You can see the raw steel compared to something that's already been browned. And 
this is the the butt plate which is probably the biggest part of steel on the the gun now this is Lyman kit and this is their great plains rifle um, and they used steel um, if you can find an old Thompson Center kit it uses brass um, every kit offers some different aspects now I'm noticing on this and I might have to use a little bit of steel wool Maybe I put it on a little too thick or let it set too long, you know. It's Saturday, so maybe I can get back at it in two or three hours. But you can see it's starting to really come along. And then I'll use this cloth just to buff it. I don't want to remove the browning. I just applied it's getting there the cloth does take a little longer and a little more pressure to to get it I don't know if a different cloth would work better or worse, a t-shirt material or or what. But it does say that pretty exclusively in the uh, directions. You don't want to remove the the browning you just worked so hard to to put on. And this browning solution I bought it last year or the year before. I don't remember. Um, it's not that expensive. I think it was only 10 or 15 bucks a bottle. I'm not too worried about this. I'm going to get some material on it or get some of the burning solution on it, but this is completely hidden by the wood. This is the only part that's exposed. So I'm not too concerned about the color of of this that's on the side. Uh, it just doesn't. It's not exposed. Still want to make sure it's protected from everything, but it's, it's not exposed. I'm not worried about it being brown. not a very patient person so if you feel yourself starting to rush the gun back away just just put it down for a month a week you know give yourself a reset think about it think about what you want the gun to be you know, what do you want it to look like? What do you want it to to, to do that? I mean, if you're... If you get the gun for a Christmas present or... <clears throat> something like that, cold winter day, work on it. Like today, we had a big blizzard outside. We got snow, we got wind. It's gonna be negative four tonight I ain't going nowhere I'm just not no interest in going out I don't have a snowmobile I don't I 
have any of my friends that have interest in skiing or outside activities. I'm switching back and forth between the steel wool and the cloth um, intentionally. Because like I just said, I'm not a patient guy. And I'm trying to keep the video short for your interest. I'd really like people to comment or ask questions positively. I don't want people to call me or, or text or leave comments that are negative. I don't claim to be a know-it-all. I don't want to be a know-it-all. I'm just trying to show a little evidence of well, a good thing it's not polyurethane, right? So I don't mind if it gets a little steel shavings on it. It won't bother me. I've learned too that doing stuff like this is therapeutic. You don't even know you don't even know it is, it just is. It gives your mind time to give your mind a break from other things that are going on gives you time to think about something else and when you step away from this after you know 15 out 15 minutes or you know two hours you'll find that you're you're thinking clearly a little more clearly and maybe something was on your mind is already been resolved. Sure, there's other browning solutions or practices out there. This is just the way I've chosen to do it. So, again, any other questions, comments, concerns? Um, I do encourage it. Please uh, contact me. Leave me a comment. Leave a suggestion. Leave a question. Thank you. Bye.